Hi everyone, um, I'm going to continue uh, a video that I did yesterday about using Tux Guitar and a homemade MIDI um, or rather bass sample that I've created using the, Re, uh, the Reaper Sample-O-Matic. Um, so just carrying on from where we left off yesterday, so this was my um, test MIDI what do you call a that old working perfectly. So, how do I get this to work with Tux Guitar? Well, what I'll do is, let's just get rid of the starters. So, <coughs> what I'll do next is I will um, I'll set up MIDI so that it passes from Tux Guitar into Reaper. Um, what I do is I use an application called MIDI uh, Loop MIDI, and that's this one here. And um, it's free, free download. And it's great. It's, um, it sets up all these virtual MIDI ports that are internally exposed. So if I um, look in here, you'll see I have loop MIDI ports set to port one for the bass. Now I'll set the corner. So that's now listening on loop MIDI port one. If I now go to Tux Guitar, it's my Tux Guitar. At the moment, it's set up. The default one, what we'll do is um, just quickly set this up for a bass guitar. Open this up. Bass. Now, instrument wise, I can change this one here. Now, these settings aren't important at all, um, but this one is. So, this is where I set which MIDI channel. They start at zero, so loop MIDI port one is actually channel zero on here. That's fine. And we now have <coughs> we now have the instrument set up. So if I I can set up strings as well, so I tuned to B A D. And I now have my bass set up and I should be able to go like that and there would be a sound, but at the moment there is no sound. So let me have a quick look. Settings. Ah, so the next part is make sure your MIDI port is set up to the MIDI port. And we'll try again. And there you go. So I now have the touch guitar sending MIDI to Reaper and using my MIDI sound. So if I was to Set that up as a loop. Make it a bit interesting. Okay. And if I click back to Reaper, I can see all of that. So, okay, so I um, <clears throat> just wanted to show you the, um, the working example I have. So, in this example here, I've got uh, my drums set up using MT Power Drum Kit, which is a uh, freely available download for um, pretty good. It's got some great stuff here around. Um, grooves, there are hundreds of grooves there, and shuffle grooves and so on. And I normally um, I use these as a basis to start with, and then I'll say I'll, I'll take the kick drum off and line up the kick drum with my riff, and yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a easy way to to to, um, to get some drums up. Um, but yeah, the bass one as we've seen previously. Now I have my Ibanez RG8, which is the same setup you'll see here. I've got uh, pretty much same. Same idea happening there, except I've got all eight strings sampled. Um, with this one in particular, I've had to I've boost the, the volume by 9 dB because it was too quiet. <coughs> and then I have a Gibson U2 um, uh, sample here, same deal, just like that. And I have my Ibanez 540p. Which is exactly the same setup, again with a boost of 6 dB on. 
So, you'll see here, what I've done is, um, I will just enable, I've got this set to the board 10, um, this one's set to 3, this one is set to 2, and that's back to 1, so I'll just turn on the records. Board. And if I jump over to Tucker Tower, you'll see here that I have um, some some tracks here. So I've got my bass drum and rhythm. Uh, I haven't uh, got the leads as well there, but I've muted it. And so the idea is that I should be able to um, import MIDI into Tucker Tower and also just compose new stuff myself. And if I hit play. That's it. Um, so yeah, hope you, you enjoyed that. That's um, ideally the next step would be to be able to trigger off um, Reaper with the, when I press play in Tux Guitar to then trigger off um, either the, the MIDI time codes or some like that. But unfortunately, Tux Guitar doesn't support that, so I haven't actually figured out a way to do that yet. But um, it's, uh, I'm sure that there'd be a way I could probably do a fake track or something and, and use a fake track for timing, but, um, yeah, that would, that would then assist with being able to hit play and touch guitar and have it keep time in, in, um, in Reaper automatically. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for listening. Um, I hope that's helpful and, um, yeah, you got any questions, hit me up. Thanks. Bye.